This video is a continuation in our series on the brain, and this video will be covering the pons, which is the middle section of our brain stem. Our pons is generally considered to be a large bulge or swelling that is going to be rostral to our medulla oblongata. Our pons is largely going to act as a relay center. Messages that come from our brain stem come up through the medulla and through the pons to pass to our cerebrum. And we're also going to pass messages from our cerebrum to our cerebellum and back again from our cerebellum to our cerebrum. And we pass through these structures here that are called cerebellar peduncles. And those peduncles connect the pons to the cerebellum. The pons is associated closely with two cranial nerves. Cranial nerve 5 here appears as a large stump that protrudes off of the lateral sides of the pons. And we see cranial nerve 8 once again emerging from the area between the pons and the medulla. Cranial nerve 5 is also called the trigeminal nerve and it is associated with sensory to your face. So if you touch your face you are stimulating cranial nerve 5. Cranial nerve 8 is our vestibulocochlear nerve and so we are going to be receiving hearing and equilibrium information. Cranial nerve 6 and cranial nerve 7 also emerge from the area between the pons and the medulla. Cranial nerve 6 is called the abducens and it is associated with eye movements. Cranial nerve 7 is your facial nerve which is associated with the movement of your face, salivation, crying, and the production of snot. So cranial nerves 5, 6, 7, and 8 are associated with the pons. We also see our reticular formation inside of our pons. So we are associated again with the reticular formation. But largely our function is to act as a relay center. So again, this chart shows us all of the nuclei that we have associated with our pons and their functions. So here we're relaying sensory information and then we're carrying motor commands also through our pons. And that's where we see the largest function of our pons. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.